hello guys and welcome back again to my channel if it's your very first time of coming across this channel hi i am Oma click welcome to my kitchen in today's video i'm going to share on how to make oba delicacy okay this oba is the fermented african oil bean seed and um forgive me i wasn't in the right state of mind to record this video okay so i'll be dropping clips here and there for this video and also i will drop the ingredients i used on the description box below okay So for the ingredients you need for this recipe include the oba which is the fermented African oil bean seed. You also be needing some crayfish. For this crayfish part you have to grind some with your ingredients and you have to wash some and add it directly into the oba delicacy. That means you have to wash this crayfish properly to remove debris. Okay, over here I have some of my ingredients. I have my ogiri obeyi, which is a seasoning. Okay, this ogiri obeyi is the castor oil seed. I also have my calabash nuts, fresh peppers, onion, and my otazi leaf. And also you'll be needing palm oil okay some salt for taste and your potash water okay miri ungwa in my native language so over here i have my ingredients well grinded so i have to go in with my red oil and guys how thickening you want your oba delicacy to be depends on the amount of potash water you added so at this point i'll be adding my potash water in it directly okay so i'll continue to mix this until i get the right consistency i want for my potash or for my oba delicacy so at this point i have to pre-cook this oba by adding it in a pot add a little water and um, tie it in a plastic bag so that it will be cooked a little bit or pre-cooked and i have to go in with my mixed ingredients you saw me mixing right and i have to mix this properly and also i have my bomo sorry like i said forgive me i wasn't in the right state of mood to record this video this bomo has already been cooked a night before i prepared this oba delicacy okay so the oba is ready for serve and uh, i'm also going to garnish this with onion and my oats as a leaf and some people like to garnish their bomo but i prefer to use my bomo like that so the oba is ready to serve okay and if you're still watching up to this moment and you haven't subscribed please subscribe like share and drop a comment on the comment section thank you and see you all in my next video bye